Box cover. So what's up, peeps? My name is Dutty Berry, and welcome to the Dutty Berry Show channel. So let's talk about the MTV Video Music Awards 2016. <laughs> so first up, the host. I don't know what MTV was thinking. I don't know what they were going for. I guess they wanted something that was social media friendly, but it was a definite miss. I did not like it. Many people on Twitter said that they were a little bit boring. I watched some of their videos on, on YouTube and they're pretty funny, but as the main correspondence at the VMAs, it, it just didn't. Curry. I mean, when I started to watch and I saw them, I was like, yes. And then by the, by the first commercial break, I ended up having to scream at my television like Tyra. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. Ah, okay, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> and then to Little Miss Ponytail, Ariana Grande. Um... I understand that she wants to be seen as mature and sexy, but it's a little kind of awkward watching Ariana on stage trying to shake her booty. She doesn't really have much, but trying to watch her shake her booty and be all kind of sexy and seductive when she looks like a, a pretty girl. Her notes weren't cutting it. Her energy was lackluster. Then Nikki came on and I'm thinking, okay, Nikki's going to bring the energy. Nikki's going to bring the hype. And then Nikki came on like a darn camel. I mean, what happened, Nikki? I don't know, man. Kiss them ass shots. We're out. And then Michael Phelps introduced Future and said that he was the most inspiring artist. There's no rapper today more inspiring than Future. It bitch weird. And then Future took to the stage and I was like Oh come on and how could I forget Alicia Keys Alicia Keys went to the stage, she went on stage wearing hardly any makeup And she did something similar to what that guy from Grey's Anatomy did She basically showed how woke she was and inspired everybody Divided by difference so if you don't know, MTV gave Kanye West four minutes to do any box foot thing that he desired. And of course, in typical Kanye West style, he decided to just talk, just to ramble on. Ray J in it, bro. Like... <laughs> but what made his presence so epic was the fact that he introduced his music video that featured Tayana Taylor. People, the video was hot. It was blazing. It was tantalizing. It got me... Mm, it just made you want to hold up your pillow. It made you want to just listen to some Tony Braxton. It made you want to just draw for some lotion. I'm kidding. <laughs> Whoa! So and then Britney, Britney made her return to the VMA stage because as you can recall, her last performance on the stage was that kind of tragic Gimme More performance a couple years ago. <laughs> and I guess she wanted to redeem herself this year. So. So okay, let's get into the meat of the matter and talk about Rihanna versus Beyonce. Tonight was Rihanna's night. She was set to receive the MTV Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award for Excellence. And so she decided to do four separate sets um, of performances. The first performance was pretty good. It was, a, it was the introduction. It was the start of the show. It was pretty okay. I was like, yes, Rihanna, do your thing. Do your thing, Rihanna, boo-boo. The second performance now was my favorite. It was just turn up, it was just lit. It was basically, it brought all the Caribbean flavor, the Jamaican flavor. And my girl did a broke it down, she did a catch and quench, she did a pat everything. She was just doing everything like a little ray ray, good good skettle. So after Rena's second performance, it was now time for the Queen Bee to take the stage. I said that Beyonce ripped up the stage, she ripped it up. When I said that the queen killed the stage, she demolished everything and every other performer's history, got wiped out, it was erased. Then nada. Like, I just don't understand, why would Beyonce get a full-length performance on, Be on, on, on Rihanna's night? Totally upstaging the girl. Who's going to remember Rihanna after that? No one. It was time for Rihanna to take the stage, Beyonce got her award just before, like, five seconds before Rena was to take the stage and then she did this messed up performance that left everybody's ears sort of bleeding because she decided to reach for a note that was a little bit too high for her yeah that third performance she just didn't come on the stage herself she just came on with a defeated energy her spirit was low something was just definitely off and i i feel i just feel that it was because beyonce had a stellar performance the crowd loved it and then she received her award for female video of the year just before rihanna was to perform 
now. Who does that MTV? Who does that? Everyone, everybody knows that when you are the performer coming after an award, you should win. You should win and then they throw to you. And to top it off, Beyonce went on to win another award. She changed outfit twice or three times during the show. <laughs> totally upstaging anything that all of this Rihanna rain. I think it let up that night. Well, that's it, peeps. Thanks for watching another Dutty Berry show. I'm Dutty Berry. Make sure, please, to comment down below and share your thoughts. Do you think that Rihanna was intimidated by Beyonce at the Video Music Awards? What was your highlight of the show? Who had the best performance? Who had the worst performance? Let me know in the comment section below. Please, <laughs> please ensure that you subscribe, okay? Take care. Until next time. Box cover!